What up my freaks, Ruinous Insight here with part 22 of my Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge Oathbreaker playthrough. So as we saw last time, we've made our way through, I don't know, some portion of the mountain pass, culminating in arriving at the path to the Shadow Cursed Lands and then meeting a Mr. Elminster, a uh, very, very famous wizard who apparently wishes to pass on a message from Mistra and that Gale should nuke himself and solve all of our problems. Not something I think uh, Wallach would be uh, super into, but hey, uh, as, uh, as uh, one of the comments suggested, we should do a little bit more exploration of a Wallach as a character, and uh, who knows, maybe his attitudes will change as the game goes on, though I still think that nothing he has yet encountered would, do mu would have done much, I should say, to move the heart of a Blood Knight. Anyway, anyway, and in terms of what we got to do now, we're heading in the general direction of the Githyanki Crush here, which I guess is over here, but a uh, fair distance away from us. And we shall have to get there. Before we do, I think we'll do a long rest as well as a, uh, a quick chat with everybody in camp, mostly because I'm curious to see, or actually, I'd uh, like to advance anything that needs to be advanced because we don't want to get screwed over by that again. So, oh, and plus on top of that, maybe they have uh, something to say about the whole Gale Thank thing. Thank you for agreeing to find Okay, me. now you've already said that. Uh, Carlac, what about you? Anything about Gale? Oh, was that Gale's granddad? Maybe? Uh, look it like it. That was Elminster Omar, the most famous wizard in all the realms. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. But all right. Must have had something important to say to Gale if he came all this way. Good news, I hope. Uh, well, good news in a way, <laughs> and not so good news in another. Uh, good news in the sense that we do have a solution to the problem, should we uh, should we wish to manipulate Gale into doing it. Anyway, I don't think it was. It turns out Gale has an explosive bomb in his chest, and Mistra has asked him to use it to blow up the heart of the Absolute. <laughs> Whoa, now, he's got a... Well... I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra? <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? Uh, let's see, I think he's going to go f f follow through with it. I don't think he'd do that to himself, even if Mistra commanded it. I'm not sure. I think he's of several minds. I think several minds seems about right, though. He seemed reasonably convinced. Let's try several minds. Tell him to pick the right one. Or better yet, I'll do it. Fucking wizards, man. They always need help picking the simple, obvious option. If Mistra can't think of another way to stop the Absolute than sacrificing Gale, she's no god worth worshipping. I'll say that to Gale in, you know, gentle terms. All right, a uh, very good attitude to have, and I certainly think uh, one a Wallach would agree with. Uh, like I said before, I think so far from what we've heard from the companions, Karlak and Lazel seem to have the most uh, compatible attitudes uh, with Wallach's so far, though, of course. And we'll see as that goes on. Karlak's quest, her personal quest, hasn't been advanced at all, as we saw last episode, with the amount of stuff that Shadowheart has gotten. And by comparison, speaking of Shadowheart, let's see if she has anything to say about this. I can't believe I'm actually venturing into a Gith stronghold again, voluntarily. This had better pay off. Again. Again. What where was the where's the again from? Get the stronghold again, well am I, did I forget something that happened or some information that was provided? I'm not entirely sure where the again or did she Was her mission to steal the artifact maybe? from a Gith stronghold? Hmm, well, either way. Uh, also, she doesn't seem to care about what's happening with Gale at all. Anyway, the Githyanki will help us. Whatever happens, we'll be able to manage. I'll admit it, this could be a terrible idea, but we don't have much choice. Uh, well, not sure. I mean, not sure. True. Her acting out of desperation. Let's just be careful. Any potential cure is useless if our heads are parted from our shoulders beforehand. They must want that artifact back badly, if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. 
of course, Wellick's personal motivations with regards to hearing about these red dragons and uh, and seeing at least once so far would be a little bit different, and he's just salivating at the thought of a stronghold with dragons turning upon him. Uh, but anyway, it seems to be important to your mother superior. I'm curious about that myself. Your mission is relevant to me. Okay, you know what? Let's just focus on the tadpole for now, and frankly, your mission can wait until uh, until other things have been dealt with. True enough. All will be revealed in due time. I hope. All you say? I want to get to know. I want to talk all that's happened to us. Wait, so... Fine. What's on your mind? Yeah, no. Uh, she doesn't have anything to say about Gale at all. Interesting. I <laughs> wonder why she doesn't care. Maybe she doesn't like him. Uh, Lazel, your turn. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Mm. Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistra is concerned only for herself. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. Yeah, once again, Wallach's with uh, Karlak and Lazel on this particular one. Uh, wait, so her comment about Vlak, does Vlakith not demand that the uh, Githyanki sacrifice themselves for her as their queen? Because I feel like that would probably be a thing. Unless, well, obviously I don't know too much about the uh, uh, the character, but uh, a little bit odd that uh, Lazel makes the distinction, it seems to me, but whatever. Uh, I didn't... okay, none of this is helpful. All right, and uh, this doesn't seem to be advancing any quests or anything, um, but nonetheless I am curious to see how the companions react, and, uh, and it also builds the uh, potential relationship uh, with Wallach or uh, his estimations of everybody. Astarian, you're next. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Uh, Astarian's entertaining, even if uh, yeah, Wallach probably wouldn't care about controlling this cult. Halzen? You wish to speak? Okay, Halzen doesn't care at all, just like Shadowheart, and he has nothing else to say. Will, your turn. A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more... optimistic. Listen, I might invoke the Triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith. Not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death, among countless others, to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big Bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. All right, still a little bit smug, but you know what uh, Will is uh, most certainly starting to grow on me, and Wallach would appreciate the attitude similar to Karlak and Lazel's with this uh, uh, in this particular case. So yeah, all right. And okay, Withers would, uh, as far as I can tell, Withers and the Oathbreaker Knight from checking them previously don't have anything to say. And oh right, there's Volo still, but I he's not a companion, right? He's just here. And you say the same thing every time. Just want to double check if he has anything useful to trade at the same time. Uh, let's see. Pork loin, Ithbank, a bunch of horseradish, and a bunch of... Uh, to oh! Hmm, he does have a bunch of potions of animal speaking. Five of them, in fact. You know what? I'm going to buy these. Uh, it's just a hassle to uh, uh, to brew them, and frankly, at 125 for five, that's really not that bad. Uh, not super needed, mind you, but we'll take it. And we'll take it, and uh, Wallach can periodically use these. And I forgot if I've used them on this time, but I guess we'll see later. Anyway, uh, what were we saying? Has your research turned up anything that might help this parasite problem?
I see there's no helmet removal animation. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Alrighty, so he could attempt an extraction with a needle. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, there was a comment suggesting that if you let him operate on you, you can acquire C invisibility, and that seems really great. From a metagaming perspective, it, it obviously is the sensible thing to do. However, from an RP perspective, letting this absolute charlatan of a man poke around in your eye, especially after you've had experiences with uh, an archdruid Halzen and a bunch of others that have... Uh, uh, offered but been unable to essentially remove the parasite at this point there's absolutely no reason to let him poke your eye with a needle so i think and for and a great as it would be to acquire the invisibility uh we're gonna go for the rp reason and just say i'd rather get a second opinion you won't find a more learned opinion on this matter i assure you yeah yeah now there's no need are you holding your you head? You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Well, yeah. All righty. <laughs> well, like I said, who would trust this guy with a, with a needle in your eye? And I believe that is that. I don't think I'm forgetting anybody, or if I am, I guess it's, uh, it's too late now. So let's end the day. Let's see if anybody has anything interesting to say, and then let's proceed to the uh, to the githyanki crash uh you have camp supplies yes 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 anybody want to talk about anything all righty gail nothing ah carlac wants to say something anybody else just to double check so we know where we're going no okay well gotta do this to advance stuff either way so glad we're long resting now even if we don't really need to hey soldier i <sighs> well i'm not feeling so good <sighs> my engine it's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. <sighs> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. Where the heck is Damon? I, 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 he, he left with the uh, he left with the Tiefling refugees. I don't remember where they were going. They were just heading to Baldur's Gate, wasn't it? Uh, I think that was something. They they left Elturel and then they're going to Baldur's Gate. I think that was it. Anyway, uh, what'll happen if he can't tune you up in time? Don't worry, we'll find him. You're tough. Uh, this thing and uh, that thing in your chest won't overpower you. What will happen? Well, I imagine it's lights out, Big K. And then it'll be just you, your parasite, and the wild yonder. I'm sure you'd manage. But this old girl's got a few things to do before it comes to that. All right. Well, dying due to your uh, uh, your infernal heart would certainly be unfortunate. And I believe nobody else has anything to say, which means we can end the day and then proceed. Uh, let's take a supply pack and full rest, I guess. Let's see if anybody... Uh, let's see if we get any scenes here. Ah, something's happening. Oh, it's the owl bear. You the feathered creature. It does it's come back. Cup you rescued. Oh my lord, it's so adorable. Beckon him closer, fetch a piece of food. Ooh. I'm gonna try the piece of food because I don't trust the check. And it's a wisdom thing, and we have what, 10 wisdom I wanna say is? It's like attack him. Oh, wow. Uh, fetch a piece of food. Let's try it. Oh, wow, everybody likes this. Carlac, Shadowheart, Gale, and Astarian. Lazel doesn't seem Cut's to care. Eyes lock onto the food in your hand. And Halzen doesn't seem to care. Toss the food, keep the food held out in front of you, eat the food. Eat the food. <laughs> Eat the food. I don't know. Toss it. Keep it. Doesn't matter. Although, if you keep it in front of you... Mm, <laughs> bites your finger off. You know what? No, toss the food. It's an owl bear, right? The creature gulps the food down. It seems he hasn't eaten in some time. It's hardly tame. I wouldn't put my hand close to... Like a regular Careful. owl, much Once less an owl bear. Eaten through the camp, it might start looking at you hungrily. Huh? 
Oh, did you frighten her? chasing after it, if that's what you're thinking. Why would you chase... Why would you frighten the tiny little owl bear cub? It's adorable. And... I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't you see the value in having an owl bear as a... Uh, as an ally slash mount for Wallach? Yeah, I, I know that there's no mounts in this game, but uh, wouldn't that be awesome? Anyway, as uh, Scratch... You have some of this. Oh, damn it, we don't... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna drink one of the damn potions. I uh, drink. There we go. We, uh, we just long rested, so we gotta do all the uh, stuff anyway. Scratch. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. What have you got there, Scratch? Hand that over. What have you got there, Scratch? I guess I'm not gonna be mean to the dog. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Maybe you all can I tell me Bone? I thought of you when I saw it. I just pet the dog. I want to see what this looks like when... Okay, yeah, so it doesn't remove the helmet. Adorable, but anyway, we can skip it. Alrighty, and item received bone. Oh, thank you for the bone. Wait, so if we toss the bone, just out of curiosity, the row, will he go get the bone? Uh, wait, can we give him the bone? Wait, just... Hope you're keeping well, friend. Adorable, but, uh, wait. Uh, toss... Throw bone. Nah, he won't go for the bone like he will for a, uh, like for a ball. But anyway, I do believe we're good here, yes? And nobody else has anything to say and we can proceed for another day of exploration? Yes, alright, leave the camp. I'll leave the camp, everybody, let's away. Oh, well, I guess we have to recast stuff. Okay, 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 mm. okay. Still a little bit of a hassle, but what can you do? Uh, start with that warding bond on everybody. I wish that you could cast it at a higher level to multi -cast. Oh, no, wait, no, that wouldn't do anything. Never mind, ignore me. Uh, warding Bond 1. And a Warding Bond 2. And a Warding Bond 3. All right, then we want Light on, I guess, let's say, Wallach, even though the... the yeah, just put it on Wallach. Oh! Huh. Wait, Wallach, just out of curiosity. If you have your melee item equipped, is your... Nah, your bow's not on your back. Hmm. So when you're fighting with your melee stuff, your bow doesn't appear on your back, or does it? You know, I want to try something. Uh, put the light on Wallach's bow instead. So when we're exploring, we don't... We can switch to bow, but without having the light on in cutscenes, because it kind of bothers me. Anyway, uh, not that that really matters. Uh, Wallach, do you need to do anything? Any precast kind of thing? Oh, you probably want to channel Shield of Faith on. Well, Astarian's now lost how much AC? He's down to... Uh, heck, okay, wait. What now? He's down to 18 since he used to using the graceful cloth, but I believe that's equivalent to that of uh, Lazel. Lazel has a lot more HP, uh, so we could channel it on a Starion, or we could put it on Shadowheart because we don't want anybody hitting her in general. Hmm. Especially since she's always concentrating on Bless. You know what, I think I'm going to put it on a Starion nonetheless, at least while he has that armor, and at least while he doesn't have any... Uh, and bonuses to it. Uh, so, Astarian, let's put it on you. Yes. Yes. Alright, we can also power up our weapon with a magic weapon if we really wanted to, but it's also probably not a big deal. Then, Astarian, we need to long strider everybody. Uh, let's see, one and two. And then, long strider continues to you and you. Alrighty, and then lastly, long strider on the bird. All right, swell. Uh, then we want a protection from poison on Shadow Heart. Not that you'd like you're using your spells for too much. Oh, and I forgot to summon the little mini raven. All right, I'll do that in a second. Uh, summon find familiar raven. And I guess we can long stride it a little raven as well. I probably should have summoned that before long resting my bed. Can't reach this. What are you talking about? Uh, do that to the raven, which... Does indeed work as well, and then we can now cast aid on everybody at the highest level. Uh, if I can find it in here, that's you, and then at tier 3. All the prep. Then we need to take the Pearl of Power. Then we need to cast Regain a tier 3 spell slot. There we go. 
then we can move back to Amulet of Restoration. Fantastic. And I believe that's all the buffs for the rest of you. Yes? Oh, wait, Lazel, you need to bind your weapon. Ah, I don't forget this time. And then use your Astral Knowledge as well. Astral Knowledge of Intelligence. Alright, <laughs> it really does take a while, doesn't it? Uh, but anyway, now we're ready to go. Let's go, let's go. These boots have seen everything. I wish that you could, like, uh, that there was, like, a, a, a little menu that would allow you to, like, press one button and have them all essentially cast their uh, daily prep uh, uh, daily prep spells. In fact, I'm willing to bet that somebody's going to make a mod of such a thing. It seems like a decent, uh, uh, decent thing to mod. Anyway, let us proceed. I believe it was down here, the path, unless I'm mistaken, or at least I hope so, if I'm remembering correctly. All right, away we go. These are repulsor mines that we disarmed or activated. I can't quite recall. We disarmed at least one. I think there was another one, but I can't recall what happened to it. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. Was there anything else that we wanted to try with any of the stuff we bought from that lady? Oh, right. I was going to... Damn, I forgot to sell off a bunch of stuff between the episodes. Uh, okay, I'll do it between the next episodes. All right, down here. Oh, you know what I should have done here? I should have uh, gone for Featherfall and uh, jumped all that way to go as far as we can or whatever. All right, everybody's down. Wallach first. All right, everybody's a coming. I don't want to move too far away until everybody's across. There we go. Perception. Eee, mine. No, 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 no. Huh. I wonder. Wait, wait, wait. Do we actually have to... Ah, no, so we, okay, we don't, we don't even need to roll this arm. Okay, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll just, wall separate. Ah, yeah, there's another one. Of course, there's another one. Astarian, can you find the mine? Exception failed. Damn it. <laughs> All right, Shadowheart, try a guidance on, on Lazel. And these are repulsion mines, so I take it if you walk into them, they'll just throw you off the cliff, which doesn't sound like a good thing to have. There we go. Yeah. Alright, check your spear. Nice. Alright, and keep going while you're at it anymore. Did I drink the potion of animal speaking? Yes. Uh, let's see. Ah, ah. Alright, any more? Chirp. Did that bird just get freaked out by the mine? Okay, well, that's the bird's problem, I guess. Uh, ah, yeah. Oh, there's a key here. How oh, interesting. Uh, I wonder if we would have otherwise had to bargain with the bird or kill the bird to get the key. Because remember, there was a there was a there was another bird with I think it was a key up in uh, up in. We'll take it take it before the bird comes back. Okay, <laughs> in the druid area. I'll talk to the bird in a second. I didn't exactly dress for hiking mountains. Shame you can procure some pack mules or horses. Well, that's a shame. Perish the thought. Those ill-tempered beasts are prone to biting. You're gonna make a comment about him biting? Yeah. I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shove off. Okay, my bad about the freaking mine, dude. Uh, alrighty. Uh, did someone steal something from you? That's a lots of attitude from a little bird. I'm not here to take. I'm looking for a Githyanki crush. Ah, yes. Do I look like a bloody tall guy? Hey, 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 hey. Is the roof the best nest spot on the whole Chion Far? Well, I got there first, too, before the thieves showed up. Thieves? What did they steal? I can't help but notice you have a nest right there. What did they steal? Steal? Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest, prey, everything. That's how it works here. What are you, a blue jay? Would a blue jay and an eagle have the same kind of diet? I, I feel like blue jays would eat like bugs or something like that. What possible prey could an eagle take from a blue jay that, uh, uh, huh. Do eagles and blue jays eat carrion, perhaps? Anyway, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> uh, I can help but notice you have a nest right there. That's exactly how it works. Since it's my turn. Get out or I'll turn you into stew. Ah, yeah, so I assume that if we had tried to take the key while the uh, bird was there, that wouldn't have happened. That doesn't sound very fair. I can't help but notice you have a nest right there, I guess. Oh, sure, a nest. But it's not my nest. That's up on the roof with the eagles. Eagles are pricks. <laughs> uh, what's what's the point of this? Uh, why the... That's up on the roof. What do you mean, why the roof? 
Seems like an odd what? Oh, it's a good oh why is the roof the better spot? I see, I see. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. Drunk lizards? Are, are Githyanki drunk lizards? <laughs> Let's try the nature check. I don't think it's gonna work, uh, and I feel like if we leave it... Okay, I'll just give it a try. Uh, what are we at here? Oh, 14. Not so bad. Give it a try. Come on. Ah, okay. Well, I'll try it with Lazel to see if uh, we can have her do it as well. Alcoholic lizards didn't show up much in your studies of the natural world. All right, I don't have time for your petty bird scobbles. You want me to go deal with the eagles for you? Uh, would we just go and kill eagles for a bird? This seems like an odd thing to say. Well, we can talk to the eagles, I guess. Let's leave for now. And uh, so, oh, yeah, see, it's stealing now. Oh, I did I not loot Once the inside, bird? Okay, it's too late. We're supposed to trust that will end well. Hmm. It does does Lazel stay silent on that question? <laughs> it's just like <laughs> no comment. More a sign of the times, I suppose. Alrighty, and oh maybe she said something and I didn't see it. Uh, is that a wait 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 wait. Just to be clear, you're going to I don't know, she just says is that a problem? Okay. Alright, let's continue. Right, where is... Oh, we're still pretty far from it. Okay, there's got to be another fight on the way to it then. Uh, come on, guys. Please, down here. Please, guys. If we jump again, will they follow now? Oh, they will. Oh, that's good. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, I'm glad I tried that. So when it's a problem for them, easy, more easily than just separating them off, we can just jump in place and it looks like... Ah, survival failed. Oh, wait, survival is diggy hole, isn't it? All right, diggy hole... Yeah, if only I can remember which one. There we go. And no, don't whack. <laughs> don't whack Shadowheart with the shovel. Wait, what? Uh, did I just throw the shovel and now I, I can't alt and see it anymore? Doing <laughs> my bad. I didn't realize I had selected throw. I thought I had selected use. Well, that's unfortunate. I think somebody else has a shovel, but I don't know who... Wait. Shovel? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I don't have any other shovels. No items found. Amazing. I'm an idiot. And I haven't been picking up shovels because they're only worth one money. Well, okay. I'm going to make a mark. <laughs> uh, missed diggy hole. We're gonna need to get a shovel. All right, let's hope that another trader has a uh, has a shovel for sale. And I can't believe it disappeared as soon as I threw it. Wait, ah, uh, balsam. I thought for a second it might be the shovel. It might be on the ground somewhere, and I can't see it. On the bright side, I am very amused right now. All righty, anything else? No, doesn't look like it. Let's keep going around, and grabbing all the stuff. Hopefully, a shovel on the I'll way. Take my pick. Oh, Lazel, am I using you to pick stuff up? Yeah, okay. And how far is this place? Ah. Oh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I just I'm going to try one of the uh, one of the backpacks. Here's the thing. There may not be a uh, waypoint close by, and I wouldn't want to go back all this way and just to uh, and just to get a shovel. Uh Volo, I didn't see sold any shovels. Camp seems like a place where you might want to keep a few shovels, but I don't see any near, just lying nearby. Hmm. Alright. Do we have any shovels in here? Are we able to... Hmm. If we look in here... I mean... Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to sort this entire thing. Yeah, okay, well. Alright. None in there. Analysis is... Not what you were expecting, probably, but... Well, now that we've thrown the shovel, there's little we can do about it. Uh... No. Okay, next. Yeah, like I said, I haven't been picking up shovels, but who knows? Am I... Ah, no, that's a maze stamp. It looked almost shovel-like there for a second. The game raised my hopes and crushed them quite expertly. Mm, no shovels here. Uh... No shovels there. 
I'd also find it hilarious if there actually was a shovel and I just missed it because I'm blind and somebody's screaming at the screen. Or also just screaming shut up about the shovels. And no, plenty of torches, but torches are worth money unlike shovels. Alright, well, we'll get to actual stuff, guys, I promise. This is, this is tremendously important. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure that the item search thing doesn't actually... Oh, that's already open, which means there are no shovels in here. Well, a crying shame. All right, well, no shovel, then no shovel. We'll see if we can find one somewhere along, but on the path, rather. All right, Rosie Moore and Monastery. All right, we're getting there. Uh, anything here? I see a bunch of gear and... Well, not gear, but... Uh, Mm. Yeah, that's okay. Ah, there's a wooden crate. Ah, there's probably not a shovel in the cr <gasps> A shovel! Oh, of course! <laughs> hey, yeah, there's a... Uh, there's an ancient sigil. Uh... <laughs> I love the fact that there was a shovel just after the place where I checked the other one. Amazing. Alright, let's, let's briefly go back and, and dig the hole. Watch it, watch it be one of the empty diggy holes. I'm sorry, guys. It's, it's late now and I'm tired. <laughs> It happens. I hope this has at least been entertaining for you. Uh, let's see. Open and start digging. Not throw. I got so used to selecting throw with Lazel that, uh, uh, that uh, yeah. You know what? Next time I see a shovel, I'm going to take a couple spares and give it to all the characters because, yeah, I got a loot. Uh, that'll work with the... Uh, and Elixir of Arcane Cultivation as well. Gain an additional level 2 spell slot. Not for for only a single long rest, but still not the worst thing in the world. Uh, the loot may come in handy if we, or when I should say, we attempt a respec of Astarian into Bard to see how that all works out. Alright, I'm just mousing over stuff to see. There's a signpost here and there's two paths by the looks of it. Yeah, Alright, we'll go over there in a second. I thought I saw an area down here. Is there anything actually down here? Okay, wait. Can we actually jump down here? No. There's a collapsed cart with some clothes or some rags, I should say, in it. And, okay, I don't actually see anything there. Good. Well, good in the sense that I uh, didn't miss anything this time. All right, there's a little off path here. No, nothing there. And you gotta look at these places. I mean, I would have never found that uh, uh, the fish people, the Kuotoa, if... Uh... Oh, wow, lots of stuff here. Uh, if uh, I hadn't been trying to look in every nook and cranny, so... And just want to try not to miss anything. Even though, clearly, there have been a few comments about things I've missed, so yeah, that's uh, uh, not quite escape. Okay, another elixir of arcane cultivation keeps giving us these. Um, greater potion, pilgrim's prayer, pilgrim's curse, silver amulet, another pilgrim's prayer. I'm going to give these a quick read. And, oh, is that an incense? Yes, let's steal the incense. And an incense bowl. The incense is worth quite a bit. More than a shovel, certainly. Alright, read. Read and... Read. Okay, none of those update quests, so they're probably not super important. And cable car wheel. Oh. Wait, oh, this is from the other direction. I wonder if this would do anything for us, but I mean, if it, only, if it only goes up there and then down here, it's probably not important. Also, Miss Diggy Hole Delete. You are no longer necessary. You served your purpose for a little while, at least. Alright, there's a crate here. Man, right behind, right in the bushes, too. Couldn't quite see that. And let's keep on going. Did I activate the sigil? Ah, oh, we're here. The monastery. Sweltastic. Uh, let's see, ancient sigil as well. Alrighty, so the crush is clearly here. I see that there's a path up there. And when does this go? You can't quite tell. Alright, let's let's briefly you know what, while I climb up there by yourself, I just want to see where this goes. I want to take a quick like look around the monastery before Barricade and ah, okay, yeah, this leads into the monastery. Swell. Okay, we know where this goes. We'll probably come back. I assume that there's probably more than one way in, but like I said, I want to take a look around everywhere here because, uh, uh be wow, I see enemies. Cobalt looter. Okay. 
At least that means there will be a fight shortly. Ooh, and they're right. Ooh, it seems like the Cobalt looters are right where we get in here. Oh, fantastic. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. Look around the entire place in case there's diggy stuff. Oh, there's people. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No! No, 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 I'm not going in there! I won't! That seems like a good idea. <laughs> yep. Are we just watching? Okay, I guess we're just watching. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Ah, okay, so Forward, I... carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Oh, these are cultists. Okay. I had assumed that they were just executing randos. Which they have also been doing, clearly, Did since they killed a bunch of... Uh, cultists. Could be a good thing. Uh, they killed a bunch of the uh, tiefling, or at least one of the tiefling refugees there, and some of those uh, flaming fist people. Uh, Corliss, novice of the absolute. Let's see if you have anything to say. <sighs> Yeah. All right, the corpse regards you. What were you doing here? And what do you know about this weapon? Nothing. Ah. Didn't know anything. Yeah, these guys talk too slowly when in uh, raised dead form or whatever this form is. Uh, speak with dead, rather. What were you doing here? Absolute answering the call. What is happening at Moonrise Towers? Gathering, coalescing, preparing. Preparing for what orders from the general? What general? Chosen of the Absolute. And that's it. Ah, damn. Hmm. I wonder, if we search a different character who, for example, has the amulet, would we be able to attempt to speak with the dead again and answer different or ask different questions? Or is it uh, just one and done forever? Uncertainty. Interesting. Uh... Curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. All right, we know they're not to be trusted already. They're they're they seem pretty hostile. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. I think Wallach appreciates that. All right, Rosie Morn Monastery doors. Enchanted security. Lock picking impossible. Oh. Enchanted security, you say? Okay, so, oh, well, that's why there was a sideway into the... Oh, there's another sideway in. Uh, sideway into the place. Makes sense to me. And I see a bunch of wine racks, and... Okay, well, let's keep looking around the monastery first. We now know of at least two ways in, presuming that you can actually jump in here. Yeah, we can jump in there. All right. We've got our ways in. And if there's two, there could be more, so why not continue looking around? All right, what do we have here? There is a statue. Ah, the Thunder, Trampler of the Undead. I assume all clerics hate the undead, just generally speaking, because, oh, nice view, though. Uh, because they all seem to have that... I see an elegant chest down there. Uh, they all seem to have that turn on dead function. Huh? Okay, I think we have to go down there. Let's see. This path appears to be able to take us around. Yes, can we go? Yes. All right, there was a chest down there. Ah, so there was good reason to look around like this. I feel it was justified now, and the ravens are still following. Good, thank you for the fly. It's so much easier with that. All right, let's uh, jump down here. Nobody will get prone, hopefully. And, okay, no checks means no magical defenses on the chest. We got an elixir of vigilance and some arrows. Let's see what else we can pick up. A cheese. Y'all coming? Birdies? Birdies? No? Might have to separate them. Yeah, okay. Uh, Starion, come on. Jump right here. And let's hope that they'll follow. Ah, come on. <laughs> I just didn't want to do it one by one. There we go. One is here, and then, oh, they got trapped on the standing torch. Ah, okay, so they get trapped on items or things standing on the ground, I take it, and then don't follow? Yeah, okay. All right, all right. 
Good to know for the future. Alright, let's continue up this path. And hello. There appears to be... Hmm. It looks like a little a little ways up that you could go. I can't quite tell. Oh, it's just this. I don't know if there's anything here. Oh man, this would be the meanest place for the devs to have placed the repulsor mine. Imagine you walk right here, mine explodes. You get knocked off the cliff. Ah, uh, that would have been hilarious though. All right, up we go, and let's hope the birdies don't get stuck this time, and let's go up the knotted roots. All right, birds are coming. All right, anything over here? Yeah, right, oh, another path around the monastery. All right, we get lots of uh, overgrown stuff, a bunch of ruined masonry. I wonder, no, can't jump over there. But is it another way in? I see some skeletons, if nothing else, or a skeleton, rather. Or the ruby ring. All right, some buckets, a wispweed, anything important here? Now, what about up here? There is a path. Well, this seems like a place for a decent diggy hole. There's a dirty, a dirty mound, a dirt mound, rather. All right, and anything else here? Well, I guess we started with grave robbing before. Might as well continue. If we stole a dog collar, we're not going to stop at the uh, one of these guys. Ooh, hello, a letter. And uh, Don Master Stockhold, master of his craft. Read. Beloved Don Master Stockhold, buried with a ceremonial mace in honor of the many humble maces he wielded in his lifetime as he purged the evil from this land. Rusty mace. Okay. It's worth three money. And Garnet Ring. Okay, well, swell for mace and... Ooh, incense, though, we will take. Uh, I take it that we can't actually... Hmm. Does Speak With Ask Dead work? Stockhold, Dawnmaster, from death, life. I just wanted to see if we could cast it on the uh, coffin. I was wondering whether Speak With Dead in this setting works on the only the recently deceased, like Revivify, or whether it works on any level of deceased. Like, if somebody's been dead for a million years, would Speak With Dead still work for them, presuming their soul hasn't been destroyed somewhere? And, ah, another way into the temple. Man, there are a lot of ways into the temple. This seems to be on a lower floor. I feel like we should start up on the higher floor, maybe? Hmm, hard to say. And there's a, this is right beside the waypoint. You know, I think this is the one that we're gonna do. This way's right beside the waypoint, after all. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but who knows? Uh, let's up we go. And birdies, hope you follow along. Yes, perfect. All right, and then jump across to here, please. All right, you're not trapped. And barricade, smashy smash. Oh no, uh, switch to melee weapon. Smashy smashy. Alright, and jump we go. Alright, what do we got here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right, the enemies were in here, I forgot. Oh. Wait, what did he say? Gramishkas, these little pussy cats are allergic to magic. Better watch my spells. Allergic to magic? Sounds like a magic allergy. Allergic to magic of a spell or cantrip is cast close to the Gramishka. It might react to the magic and trigger a random effect. Interesting. Random effect. Does this mean that we shouldn't use magic? He said better watch my spells and cantrips. Interesting. Uh, but these were not the enemies. I thought it said Kobold Looter. And these are all... Oh, I feel bad about killing cat things. Oh, oh, well. Uh, Wallach, you just stay there. We just need to make sure we put everybody else close. I guess Astarian, you can start the day and attack whoever you can reach. Go for the furthest one, I think. You can reach that one, or can you? No, path's not interrupted. You can shoot over these books. Fantastic. Do it. One dead. Oh, I feel bad. And just go for the other one as well. I have very little HP. Maybe... Hmm. I guess we'll see. I was about to say, maybe they will get stronger. Ooh, we should also do the Vampiric Bite on somebody. Uh, we should also... I guess see. You, these guys use dash. Oh, there's a lot of them. That's probably why they have low HP. And just the sheer amount. Or not, what are you doing? Oh, did they get stuck like how birdies got stuck? Maybe. Or maybe they're wanting to jump, but they can't. Oh, no, wait. Dash is a bonus action, right? 
No, no, a dash is a full action and jump is a bonus action, so this should, in theory, still be able to jump. Uh, you are the regular raven. We're not going to send you in there because you'll die. Uh, you can just sit here. Uh, I will, however, use the big raven to... Bad omen, yeah? Probably won't kill you. Yeah, no dice. And, oh, wait, does that count as magic, I wonder? No, it doesn't seem to. All right. And I thought you were a magical bird. Uh, let's move you here, although I suppose a magical bird doesn't necessarily have to be making magical attacks. Uh, Wallach, you can move. We can have you bonk the... Uh, bonk this thing. Yeah, go for it. Did I just hear a child crying? What the heck? That was odd. Do these guys, are these guys, do they, they make like noises that imitate a child? I don't know. Uh, go here, man. If we had an AoE thing, this would be swell. Ooh, it survives. I'm not going to waste the spell slot on this because these guys seem relatively weak, however. And... Wait, did you... I could have sworn you already attacked once. Huh? Or twice, rather. Um, did, did, did Wallach not bonk you? I am not sure, but anyway, kill this one off. Alright, and okay, now you're good. We could also cast Hunter's Mark, but it might be a waste here, just in case, like, all of them attack him, so... Yeah, we're fine. Uh, you, Lazel, are gonna jump on in. And start checking those weapons of yours. Or that weapon of yours, rather. Uh, who gets to move? These three will move. The, go for the closest ones, as the furthest one might be forced to dash. One and two. Wait. Path is interrupted. Path is interrupted. Target is too close, but it doesn't matter. Yep. There we go. And I believe you are good now. Their turn. Yeah, they're gonna dash around. This, this looks like it was a very good position. And it also looks like we're not even going to need to have to use Bless, so no wasted spell slots in this particular time. Uh... You have no real ability to do damage at the current time, Shadowheart, so I guess you can bonk. So far, we've mostly built you as a support, but uh, that will probably change as you get higher than the numbers of spell slots. 70% to bonk, but it'll do insufficient damage, and Sacred Flame, at max roll, can only kill you, so probably a waste. This bonk, eh, nine, not too bad. And move a little bit closer to Wallach, there we go, and turn Astarian, is your turn now. I can move, yeah. Uh, which one of them moves? Let's go for... If you can actually fire at it. Let's go for the one that moves. And a one. And... Yes, you can fire over. Fantastic. Alright, down you go. Next up. If I can... Select... Yeah, there we go. And down... Oh, I should have got for the other one. I have to bet. Not that it'll matter. And then you're free to just sit here for ravens. I guess we can have you try doing something. All right, fly. And peck away. Three damage. All right, although you're... I mean, obviously, the uh, little raven is for uh, uh, for rend vision, not for actual damage. And if I can do that... There we go. All right, easy little fight. Time to press ahead. And... The heck? Is it me or was returning Pike just on the ground? Waiting. I crave blood. Okay, now I still bound the weapon. Okay, had me concerned there for a second. I uh, have a habit of forgetting that after all. Anyway, let's loot them all. Once again, I feel bad about killing some kind of mystical cats. This one, I guess, has a lot of mystic cats. Didn't, uh, uh, didn't Gale say he had a mystic cat pet as well? I forgot what its name was, though. All right, Grimishka Tail, Grimishka Tail. How's our inventory, by the way? Uh, I don't really want to organize it. If nothing else, we could just set all, send all the uh, magical stuff to Lazel briefly. The Parables of Dawn Master Vasid. Oh, don't touch that. Okay, these are unlockable. There's a door here, Record of Complaints. And Ancient Githyanki Warrior. Wait, where is that? Oh, I take it it's... Yeah, it looks like to be up on the roof. Ooh. Ah, oh, no, this is the stuff. Okay. Angles are throwing me, guys. All right, Astarian, we're going to have you lockpick. Let's regroup everybody, I guess. You should have advantage due to Cat's Grace, plus guidance, so... 14 should be no problem for you, friendo. 
and unlock the iron gate. And then do the other one too. We'll have Wallach pick them up and read them. Oh wow, these are big books. I wonder how much they're worth. Alright, is that the only one that we need to do this to? Looks to be just mousing over. Oh, another door, and it's a lock pickable as well. And ooh, hello, there's a chest behind it. Alright, to the door then. And we'll get the other stuff in a second, and another pile of books. Did I loot this pile of books? No, I did not. Wait, Grimishka's nest? Oh, it made an aww. This is where their nests were. I feel even more bad now. Damn. <laughs> uh, what can you do? Damned pixels. Alrighty, let's unlock you, door. Grimishka's nest, let's loot you. Oh, wow. They're gathering stuff. Huh. You would think that with the magical allergy that they might perhaps not want to pick up scrolls, or maybe... Maybe... The, maybe allergy is not the right word. If they like scrolls, read. An epic-looking tome that opens with an illustration... Illustrated panel of Dawnmaster of a Seed riding into battle against an army of Sharon clerics. Oh, in his raised hand, his trusted battle axe. Its sharpened edge, glinting in Lathander's light. Sure. Is this a big book? Yeah, 0 0.5. Parables of Dawnmaster of a Seed. His holy blood, Dawnmaster of a Seed. I read this one as well. And, okay, that's no, it's too much. That's a little bit long. And these books are not lootable. Let's see what's behind door number one. Alright, any traps here? Uh, somebody died in here. Hmm, that's kind of sad. Journal of Novice Monk. There's rumors of a Githyanki sighting in the region. The Dawnmaster's inner circle think we don't know, but it's all anyone can talk about. It. What do they want? Can they be after the blood itself? The blood? How would they even have found out about it? Personally, I'm excited. If there's really is a Githyanki attack, there's a ch chance they'll fire the lance. Okay, there's a blood and a lance. To see the light of Lathander himself launched forth from Rosie Morn's roof. Okay, okay, head up to the roof. Got it. Uh, that would be something to write home about. Brother Wellen claims he saw it once and it was so bright it nearly made him blind. Luckily, he says it's quite hard to fire. But once we do, those Githyanki won't know what hit them. Interesting. Okay, so that sounds to me like this is a way to potentially uh, destroy the Githyanki crush, maybe? If that is... Uh, if we uh, become hostile with them. Seems like that's what it's uh, trying to get at. Anyway, opulent chest. Okay, more scrolls, but uh, fear and fly, not too bad. And it looks like you can jump up there, presumably to head to the roof. Yeah. Is this the roof? Can't quite tell, but it looks like we can jump up there. Okay, wait, you know, I'll just separate. I just want to double check that this is, in fact, a path to the roof. We'll come back down. And... Does this keep going? Yeah, it keeps going. And there's a lot of stuff up here. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do this floor, then we'll come back down. I like to be thorough, guys. In case the massive amount of time I've sunk into Act 1 so far has uh, not been uh, indicative of such. Anyway, another Grimishka's Nest, more free magical stuff. Love it. And, okay, another door. We got, oh, right, the record of complaints. All by one Karen. All right, who allowed a pilgrim to pay for wine with a cat? And what sort of cat even is it? One of my novices told me they saw it grow to the size of a humongous hound. That was moments before it attacked. The poor novice didn't... Tr didn't stop trembling for ten day. Please, I beg of you, can we just accept gold for goods in like ordinary folk? Hmm. I'd let somebody pay for wine with a cat. Uh, pick up. Okay. These, uh, these uh, fire wine barrels make me nervous and potion of animal speaking recipe. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I know we just used money to buy a bunch too. Uh, essence of acorn truffle, salts of rogue's morsel. Huh, it's rogue's morsel again. A rogue's morsel is certainly going to be a... Uh, uh, a scarce resource, considering how much stuff needs them. <laughs> Almost not tempted to always check the chairs, since there was that, uh, uh, that other chair. And, okay, so this is a path down, but it looks like there may not be a way back up, so we may not want to go there quite yet. Alright, so there's a down, there's an up, and there's a forward. Alright, what do we got here? I don't see any enemies, there's another barricade. Alright, let's keep exploring. Barricade. Alright, pile of water and knotted roots. Looks like it goes up to the roof as well. Oh, are these enemies on the... Survival failed. Survival failed. Oh, where was the survival check? Is it in the water? Yes, it is. Okay, it's in the water. Wait, you can have a diggy hole in the water? Through, like, uh... 
you know, whatever's at the bottom of a pool. Interesting. Uh, let's go for dig again. Yeah, I need to put dig back up on the uh, menu rather than this antidote here. Uh, where are we here? You? Yes. Go here. Thank you. And dig, please. Can't use actions? No, it is digging. Not right, close. You just have to dig reasonably close and not much there, but it's okay. All right, anything else here? Hmm. Oh, what is this? Stained glass, oh, stained glass window, bunch of plex, and ooh, ceremonial longsword, bunch of glowing swords. Didn't the, didn't the thing say that the that the grave we dug up was uh, the guy was buried with a ceremonial mace? Uh. Oh, I might be in here. <laughs> Alrighty, and what is this? Is this another pathway around or another pathway somewhere else? I just want to briefly jump up here and see what's going on. Oh, wait, there is a path. Oh, this is a path down or a path back up. Okay, okay. I see. If we want to go down there. Yeah, this, this, this place is quite big, and we haven't even reached the uh, Githyanki crash. I still don't know exactly what a crash is either. That lady said that they slaughtered all the monks, right? All right, let's try this way. A bunch of water. Ah, another wooden trunk. Some benches. Nothing in the trunk. Okay. Is there another way up, perhaps? No. And was this the same door? Yeah, two doors to the same place. Okay, okay. It doesn't seem like there's anything over on this side, unless I'm mistaken. Can't jump over here. I was just wondering if there was any purpose to that particular area. All right, let's keep going. And I guess this place now. Wait, what was that? I clicked something. Oh, no, it was just the uh, knotted, uh, knotted roots. All right, what's over here? Ooh, this place looking fancy. All right, so there's a path over here. There's, all right, the room with the ceremonial sword. Ceremo Ooh, this one's green. Very nice. And an old key, a guest book. Okay, let's 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 get to Luton. A uh, guest book. Read. My home is as dark as my spirit. I pray that you will bring me light. Good to see your statue again, my lord. Never been here. Okay, now. It didn't seem important. Pick up, and let's see what the plaque says. Oh, it looks like this the ceremonial Dear sword. Master Welkin glory. Welkin glory. Walkin glory. Ceremonial longsword. The weapon stopped glowing. How odd. The weapon stopped... Oh, interesting. Wait. Was this? Ceremony... Guys, guys, okay, I'm just gonna ungroup you. <laughs> I really gotta get into the habit of ungrouping things when I, uh, uh, when I loot and stuff. Oh, but then again, if you have a check to make, you want guidance, so... Uh... Yeah. Alright, so... The light goes on the sword. Oh, this is a puzzle, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, wait, what does these say? Dawn Master Seed. Dawn Master Seed. Dawn Master Stockhold. Dawn Master Stockhold. Dawn Master Vasaid. Dawn Master Vasaid. Interesting. Hmm. Just mousing over stuff. It doesn't even. Oh, right, the stained glass window. What does this say? Monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Okay. And safe failed religion. Ooh. Examine the image marked Dawn Master Seed. A look at the picture of Dawn Master Stockhold. Inspect the broken stained glass window. Take a look at Mon Okay, Dawn Master Walk in Glory is the Welkin Glory is the first Dawn one. Dawn Master Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lavanda's name. Beckons forth the rising sun. Welkin glory. Hmm, yeah, this is clearly something puzzly. Inspect the broken glass stained window. Saeed, wielding the rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Was that the one? We, we read about a Dawn Master with some books, so I'm going to double check those books. Uh, I like the picture of Dawn Master Stockhold. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawn Master Stockhold. Examine the image marked Dawn Master the Seed. The consecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawn Master Seed. Hmm, okay. So, wait. This is presumably we have to get the... 
the weapons and put them on a plaque. I take it this is the uh, the reason for the puzzle. Okay, so we got a mace from a grave. If I'm getting this right, I don't know if it's this one. We could try them all. Uh, was it rusty mace? I don't see ceremonial mace. I think it was rusty mace. Okay, let's just give it a try. Mm, oh, wait. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's fine. Draw in the last condition and knocked out. Oh, did that thing? <laughs> uh, we lost concentration from that. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, what can you do? Uh, I want to give that another try. Hmm. Looks like any regular weapons I have work here, too. Regular weapons? Oh, interesting. Okay, wait. Uh, there was that book. Potion of Animal Speaking, guess where his holy blood Don Master of a Seed. One of them said he was... An epic looking tome that opens with an illustrated panel of Domus Recede of a Said riding into battle against the Charm Clarus. Trust the battle axe. So we need a battle axe for presumably. Is this the one? Dawn Master for Said. Said. And I don't know what we need for the other one. Hmm. Okay, well, judging by this so far, we need to look through the rest of the. Oh. Can we go through this window? Yeah, we can. I wonder where this goes. Ah, another little room. Another little room. Man, this place is huge. I am getting very much turned around, guys. Sorry if I seem like a confused idiot, but I always seem like a confused idiot, so it should be nothing new. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. I really, I really like the level designs in this game so far. I like they're big and they, uh, uh, but they're not like confusing in such a way where I get turned around a million times and stuff. They're just big enough and makes you think just enough. Try right here. I see another skeleton down there, but that's a different floor. So we will. Quoth, Quoth, the Raven, Nevermore. Hello? No? Starion? Alright, come on, little guy. Come on. He's, he's stuck on the column, most likely. Okay, wait. Here. And then move. There you go. And now you should all be able to fly along. Right? Yes? Good. Alright, group everybody back in, and... Broken cabinet, let's loot ya. And let's jump... Oh, what is that? Ooh, hello! Guardian of Faith, what are you? Guardian of Faith, permanently armed retaliation. Creature can't be disarmed. Is it? It's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a spirit or something. Huh. Okay, let's talk to you, Mister Spirit. Guardian of Faith spell, and a remarkably long-lasting one at that. Oh, it's a spell. Huh. Uh, there is no dialogue option. Odd. What did it say again? Let me just say, Guardian of Faith. When an entity enters your attack range, you can strike them. Permanently armed creature can't be disarmed. Strike back at the next enemy that attacks you. Ow! Oh, Ceremony of Battle Axe. Oh, you gotta be... I, you know what? I should I should have... I should have... I should have known that that would happen. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's only got 60 HP. Wait. Are you telling me that it can't strike back? Okay, actually, I'm curious about this. Uh, Hunter's Mark, because we want to cast it anyway. Most and then Corvus Major, let's go for a bad omen. It doesn't have a lot of HP, so we should be fine. Uh, you don't... I'm not, actually, can you blind a... You know what? Oh, let's find out. Uh, oh, wait, you know what? Let's not put the little... The little thing will probably get killed if we try that. And let's do this. Yeah, this thing's gonna die very quickly at this rate. Two HP left? Yeah, it's got barely any HP. Wallach? Hmm. Okay. Hopefully I didn't screw something up by destroying it, but I shouldn't have just grabbed the axe, eh? Okay, now where's the axe? Alright, ceremonial battle axe. Put that over here. It's also green. Hopefully we can take the weapons after whatever puzzle this is. Alright, I wonder what it'll give us. Alright, whiskweed, mugwort, and skeleton. Ah, hello, a book. Let's see if this tells us anything about anything. Last notes of a monk. 
To whom it may concern, a business man, this is the journal of Brother Wellen, novice of Lathander, documenting the Githyanki attack on Rosie Morn Monastery for posterity. The Githyanki launched their attack at dawn. A few of us managed to barricade ourselves in a room and summoned a guardian of faith to protect us, or at least buy us time to figure out what to do to get out of here. No ideas yet, but we have faith. Lathander will preserve us in our time of need. The Githyanki seem to have backed off. Morning Lord be blessed. They haven't hammered on a door for a while now, but it's hard to say if they've given up their attack altogether. Need to wait it out to see. I knew it was too good to be true. A Githyanki managed to make its way through the window. Fortunately, the Guardian of Faith took care of it, but I'm sure that others will come. Still, that smashed window is giving me an idea of an escape plan. Still trapped, just heard a roar. I think it might be a dragon. If it is, the rest of the journal has been burned away. Conveniently burned away, I should say, but... At least we know. And once again, Wallach is excited at the prospect. Alright, there's a bed, there's another window. Anything else in here? Alright, it doesn't seem like killing the... That might be worth a look. Hello? Doesn't seem like killing the Guardian of Faith did anything, and this will take us to another area. I want to try the battle axe where we were before. And oh, this is all barricaded. I mean, I just want to open everything up. All right, and permanent Guardian of Faith. Ah, oh, interesting. What does this do? A miracle cast by the cleric of immense power. This stalwart divine guardian attacks nearby enemies. Door is a divine guardian? What a dick. Interesting. Or, oh, maybe this spell has to be cast on the room? I don't know how it works. Interesting, though. Alright, I am I'm very much enjoying slowly piecing together. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, slowly piecing together how the lore and the uh, spells work in this game. So I really appreciate all your guys' comments, clearing some of that stuff up, as I'm not familiar with it, as you know. Anyway, this appears to. Okay, let's. You know what, Wallet, go by yourself. We're going to go this way anyway. Uh, this one was Dawn Master, whatever it was. With the axe, yes? Yes, fantastic. And I don't care. I don't remember what kind of weapon you need, but you know what? I guess if they're all green like that and are just called... Well, this one wasn't. Uh, called ceremonial stuff. And then we should find another ceremonial stuff or thing. And then we just put whatever other ceremonial thing we find up there. All right. I think, I think one of those... Rusty short sword. Hmm. All right, well, let's look around. Rusty short sword, eh? I'm gonna put that, because the rusty mace, I'll put you here, just in case. Though you are not, in fact, a mace. And is this another set of roots? No. I swear I saw, ah, oh, yeah, there was one. Oh man, there's so many paths to the roof. All right, let's see what else is there. Oh, that's where we were before. Ah, another book, Old Maintenance Records. Reminder to the caretaker when oiling the machine, make sure you don't grease the statues themselves. Stones become loose of light and has a tendency to slip. Navas Paran was rumored to have triggered a full spin once. A full spin. Make sure you don't grease the statues when oiling the machine. This seems like a hint about something. We need, um, okay, we're going to try a scroll of grease on some statues if we can find some statues. Mm. Did I loot all the skeletons in here? Okay, apparently not. Picked up one bottle, picked up one bottle. No, okay, I was hoping that uh, one of them would be a grease bottle, but, uh, well, we have plenty of those, so. It does not matter. And, ah, yes, we were here before. All right, so we made it, we've looped all the way around. Uh, bust, we can jump down there, but this is to a lower floor, so we'll go around it. All right, I guess we are done on this floor. Unless I missed something, but it's up to the roof we go. Presumably this will take us up there. I guess let's find out. Alright, did I loot that skeleton and... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, there's another floor? Oh, no, 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 this is a uh, big... Oh, wow, those eagles are a lot bigger than I thought they were. Uh, the eagles that the birdie was talking about. Hi. Intruder! In my nest! This area was meant to be safe! Xavier, get behind mummy! I'm just interested in the big device I promised to not meddle with the nest. What big device? Back away slowly. Wait, what big device? I'm not... Promise not to meddle with them. No, I'll give it a try. I mean, we're not just going to randomly attack the eagles. We are the intruders here. Eh, let's give it a try. And difficulty class 15. And Oh, damn, I forgot the guidance. Did we just get a critical success? Yeah. Fine. Xavier. Xavier! Don't talk to it. It might have germs. 
<laughs> oh, that's great. I'm loving the eagles. Dead co Ceremonial Warhammer. Okay, that's presumably the last thing we need. And it's stealing? Oh. Are you telling me we gotta kill the eagles? Oh, I feel bad. Hmm. And Wallach... Hmm, I feel like he wouldn't want to provoke even the eagles. Oh, this is the device. Oh, wow, look at that. Is this the thing that they were talking about that you can use to do stuff? Or to that they were going to use on the Githyanki? Crystal. 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 Huh. How does this thing work? What majestic weapon. Even the Gith would carry you. Hmm. My faith it's a crystal. Me. Give it a try. Light on the crystal. Let's say you. I'm not sure that did anything. How the heck do you use this thing, and what do you do with it? I'm genuinely unsure, and now we have to figure out how to steal the weapon from the eagles. Hmm. Again, I don't want to fight Kevin. Maybe we can convince them to give it to us uh, without attacking them. I feel like stealing is not something Wallach would do, but uh, we needed to solve the puzzle, unless... I mean, he also remarked that mundane weapons would work in this. If it's a ceremonial Warhammer, perhaps another Warhammer would work. All right, let's give this a try. Let's loot everything. Uh, Wallach, you can get this. Ah, oh, damn, I should have done that on the bow, but whatever. Uh, let's loot this entire rooftop first. And then we shall continue. Rusty longsword, rusty dagger. Okay, so it looks like the uh, rusty short sword that we found may not be... Uh, may not be what we need. Let's see if we can't find a warhammer, and if we can't, I'm sure that one of the many bags we have back in the, uh, back in the camp would have one. Alright, anything over here? Ancient Githyanki warrior. Ooh. Huh. Ancient, interesting. Oh, hello, another Githyanki slate. Read. The stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them, a drawn translation into the common tongue. Location, good. Close to road, but secluded. Building looks well fortified. Defense minimal. Seems to be a religious building. Space ample. Underground. Okay, it's just... Yeah. A fallen Githyanki warrior. A crash must be close. Yes, a crash is close. We know that's why we're here. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, let's see. We got more loot around, if we can actually reach these, and it does look like we can. Fantastic. Okay, can't reach the last base. All right, ungroup. Wallach, you can just jump over here. I know I keep saying I should start ungrouping everybody, but uh, I'm forgetful. All righty, let's jump up here now and keep looting the rooftop. There doesn't actually seem to be all that much up here other than the eagles. And now, the Blue Jay said the Eagles did steal its nest, but can we trust the Blue Jay, I guess, is the other question. Alright, wooden crate, and wooden trunk. Alright, and anything else? Wait, could we go across? Yes, we can. Alright, fantastic. Well, let's try to go across. Maybe we'll send Wallach there by himself. You know what? Everybody up here. And we'll have... Is the dead kobold also stealing? Hmm. What? I didn't... I didn't do anything. Why? Oh. I don't understand. Jump. Did they go hostile because the Starion walked into the nest? Wallach... I thought Wallach... Okay, well, this is unfortunate. I didn't mean to do this, guys. But oh well. Uh, now they're all gonna die. Uh, what can you do? Just like that Guardian of Faith, I guess. We should probably keep away from the edges as well. Let's move... Let's see, 44 and 60... Oh, you know what we could do? Since I feel bad about this. Passives. And... Toggle non-lethal attacks. There we go. Alrighty. You can... Do they not provoke opportunity attacks? Can't quite tell. Oh yeah, they do. It looks like you're just too far. Okay, good. Move over here. Recast Hunter's Mark. And try not to do enough damage to actually kill them. Because you, I believe, can't do actual uh, non lethals. So, one. And let's not risk another one. Let's get you instead. Ah, you missed. Or something. The animation's still happening, I see. Ah. Okay, we just got a little bit laggy. Alright. And then your turn. Alright, eagle time. Gale on Quoth. Huh. Throne? Is that a snake? Or is that a root? Interesting. Hey, 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 hey. Tremendously rude. Uh, what is this? 
Difficult terrain vines. Oh, she fell into one of the vines. I see, I see. Uh, now, question. Well, first of all, let's let's do bad omen on you. Every, oh, wow. 18 damage. Curse of the Dire Raven. Very nice. And, oh, that was the little eagle. Uh, the bonks are still on. Yes, so bonk you. There we go. And you're still alive. Yes, yes. All right. Still alive because I feel bad. And then we want you to strike at the ancient giant eagle, and then we'll have Wallach bonk. Immobile. Yeah, it's fine. My best interest. Alright, 16. Well, like you should be able to do 16 damage, I think. Elazel would probably be doing too much. I guess we could use Quoth to, uh, oh, uh, just do a little bit of damage. I doubt that the little guy could kill it after all. Alright, 3, and then the turn. How was I supposed to know they'd go hostile, damn it? Uh, even though I'm sure that Wallach would appreciate the admittedly thin excuse, but nonetheless, to fight some big old eagles. Save Twisting Vines, and attack. Oh, this was not the time, Wallach. Really? <laughs> Alright, and Lazel. I don't know whether non-lethals can apply to chucking a javelin at somebody. Knock someone unconscious, must be unarmed or using a melee weapon, yeah. Uh, Lazel, I would like you... Oh. All right, we're going to end the turn. Yes, I'm... No, I'm not going to use the Misty Step. Uh, I'm wasting unnecessary amounts of resources just to keep these eagles alive. Oh, but nonetheless, uh, that's what's happening. End your turn. And Astarian, you can't fire because you'll kill it. End your turn. Let the eagle attack. It'll go for calling reinforcements. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. Huh. It's calling for help. This creature's allies will appear next turn to defend it. I... Hmm... I am a little bit curious. You know what? Everybody, move together, and I'm gonna end the turn. I just want to... I want to see what reinforcements are coming. I'm ready. I mean, hey, finally somebody calls for eagles. I'm Fury. And the Starion... Yeah, everybody's good. You just stay together. Though technically, Wallach should be near all of you. Alright, end the turn, end the turn, end the turn, end the turn. Your turn? Hey, it is next turn. Now calling for reinforcements is still up. Okay, so it's its turn. Signaling cry. Ooh, we got three more eagles. Very nice. Huh. You know, this makes me think that perhaps I should have uh, had Wallach... Uh, I if this is worth the uh, cost. Or not Wallach, just... Why are you... Did you just miss 8, 85% three times in a row, Wallach? No, don't... Don't do that. Don't kill it. <laughs> I can't believe it did... Uh... Oh, you don't have a passive. Oh, I was gonna have it finish it. Uh, I'm fury. I'm I forgot what I was talking about, but I'm distracted now. Uh, you know what, Shadowheart? Can you bonk it? It's your turn, right? No, no, no. Shadowheart. What? Unselect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shadowheart. All the way over here. And hopefully you can jump close enough to actually bonk it. Walk through the nest, I guess, if that's what pissed it off. Well, that's what pissed it off. And... Immobile Entangled? Ah, oh, you're not close enough. Mm. I feel like I'm going out of my way too much. But I feel bad. We'll kill these other eagles because that's now bothering me. Uh, <laughs> do you have a non-lethal passive? No. Well, you're going to Curse of the Dire Raven or Bad Omen this one. Alright, saved and little enough damage so that we don't have to concern about killing you. I guess we'll keep Big Boy alive for one more turn. Nece unnecessary though it is. All right, Lazel, let's have you chuck your spears. Path is interrupted. Man, if I had figured this out, maybe we would have been able to use it on the eagles, although that also feels kind of mean. Critical miss, damn. Having some bad luck with the dice today. And <laughs> doesn't bode well. Wallach just missed at 85% three times in a row, and Lazel just critical missed at 95%. There you go. Alrighty, and that's all the throws uh, you can muster at the current time, so just go here and hope that they attack you instead of Asti. Uh, you... I don't want to kill it. Alright, and Wallach, just, 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 just keep doing what you're doing. And then Shadowheart, I guess you're also gonna keep doing what you're doing? You're fine. Wait, what is top... Short rest slip at a creature to not get prone. Huh, you know what, maybe we can do this. I believe this counts as a non-lethal. I guess we're about to find out. 
Wait, you can still main hand attack? No. Oh, right, you're a mobile, that's why. I forgot, guys, I have a short memory. End turn. Alright, these guys are coming. I wonder if they can also call reinforcements. I also wonder... Do these guys give us extra XP for killing them? Because if they do, then it is always to your advantage to get bonus XP and actually... Uh, uh, and... Oh, we should be concerned about getting knocked off the uh, knocked off the roof like this. Uh, if these guys get bonus XP, then we should most definitely want the bonus XP. Alrighty, Astarian, reapply Hunter's Mark on, let's say, you. And then you're not too close, so you can go ahead and fire Giant Eagle 1 and Giant Eagle 2. Ooh, 2 HP as well, perfect. And your turn. Don't bother walking away, you're fine. Alright. You can use Talons on Wallet, but you're gonna fail. Corvus Major, you're gonna use your Bad Omen on this one. Alright, nice damage. Once again, it's saved though, so the damage isn't really all that much, uh, uh, all that crazy or anything. Hey, Wallach, let's see if you... Wait. Do I prefer Shadow Heart to... Nah, you know what, Wallach, do it. Fight. Let's go. There you get Knocked out. Perfect. Don't react. The Divine Smite would kill it. Uh, then... Hmm. We can jump closer to it and attack it. Eh, why not? Uh, can we do it? Uncle Terrain, Vines, I guess it's because we're in the Vines right now. Alright, fine, just jump here. What? Jump here. Jump here. Jump here. Jump here. There we go. <laughs> They're just trying to get one of them to work. All right, and knocked out. Perfect. Well, actually, I was going to say kill these. Ah, you know what? It's fine. Uh, we did get XP from that. Fantastic. It's not much, mind you. Need to stay but XP is XP. And Shadow Heart, jump as far as you can go. And then try to get close enough to bonk this one. And then there was one. All right, lovely. And turn. I wonder if these guys have any bonus loot as well. And your turn. Wallach, you can move closer to at least allow the application of your auras to everybody. Aw. Aw, oh, look at the poor eagle. I feel bad, but at least it's knocked out. And end your turn. Lazel, I want you to throw your spear once. And then I want you to hit it in melee after... Wait. Oh, did they kill... No, they didn't kill Quoth. Did I move you already? Huh. Okay, I guess I did. I forgot about it. Okay. Wait. Cancel and turn? No, you can still attack. Fantastic. Alright, fly right there. Okay, I guess the vines are stopping that. All right, fly right there. Are you going to land it? Wait, no, you can't land in vines. You're flying. You're a flyer. All right, attack. Critical hit. Very nice. And then Lazel with your melee attack. Taste my fury. They have twisting vines, which means... Oh, you can't move anymore. Can you jump still? No. <laughs> Oh, uh, I played myself. I didn't even realize that she was going to walk through the mines to do that. Frankly, I thought she'd walk this way. Okay, well, whatever. Not a big deal. End turn. It's going to move again. Oh, it's, it's going to try to gale us again. It is indeed. Yeah, kind of a cool fight. And then end turn, and then end turn, and then... Okay, now it wallet. Just, just, just bonk. Again. What is it with you and... <laughs> Oh, okay, wait, the, the, what is going on here? <laughs> wait, he missed five times at 85%. Five times. And I don't have karmic dice. Uh, <laughs> oh, my lord. Alright, there we go, now we're good. Alright, sorry, eagles. It was not meant, we weren't, I was gonna, yeah. Ins oh, it was entangled. Okay, I thought that was an inside. Okay, now we can take the warhammer. Uh... They're fine. Everything's fine. It's not stealing. To be fair, they challenged us. Wallach would make the exception for uh, defeating them, I think. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? Oh, huh. Uh, I take it the fact that he's saying that means that he wants to uh, have everybody rest at camp. Alright, and I take it that was everything up here. I still can't figure out how to do the, uh, how to do this thing, though. I mean, there was really only one thing that we could interact with, and it appeared to be those crystals. And... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it has something to... Maybe we have to activate it somewhere else in the monastery. Let's get 
keep going. And jump on down, everybody. And let's proceed. Alright, now we gotta make sure that we go down to with the right floor after this. Castle with bones. What? What did you just say? Castle with... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, how do people do this all day? Did, did you guys hear them say something about something? <laughs> Alright, uh, ungroup, you guys are not jumping for some reason. Oh, I should have jumped in place, but too late. Keep too late, jump on down while you all still have for the fall, and... Shouldn't back to together. Alright, birdies are coming down, fantastic. Alright, ooh, hello, there's a pouch over here. Alright, ungroup everybody again. Group and ungroup, it's that kind of day. And grab the pouch, and hey, a big healing potion, I will take the pouch as well. I take it that the monastery is the, in this destroyed uh, state that it is currently in, because the presumably the dragon that attacked it. Oh right, and we still have the... wait, giant eagles? Oh right, right, because we didn't murder them. I mean, they weren't... Let's, let's put it this way, they weren't wrong to defend their nest. But there's no reason to murder them. Mostly it was uh, my error that uh, caused that. So I feel like Wallach would let them go. Potentially. Painted chest and hello. Holy Lance Helm. Smite the graceless creatures who miss their attack rolls against the wearer. Must make a dexterity throw or take 1 to 4 radiant damage. Well, it's probably not going to be as useful as the Grimskull Helm. Although, frankly, while the Grimskull Helm looks... Very nice. The resistance to fire is completely useless, and uh, other than the resistance to fire, all it is is a hunter's mark in addition to can't land critical hits. If it wasn't for the diadem of intelligence, I'd probably put it on Lazel. Hmm. Maybe we'll remove the diadem. I'll think about it. Or, wait. If uh, Astarian becomes a swords bard, or at least tries it, he will lose Hunter's Mark, so we can get it back without uh, multi-specking into anything. Alrighty, and looks like we're good here. Uh, can we jump down here? Yes, we can. Or we could jump back up there, and then, wait, wait, we could just go down here. And jump down there. Alright, did I pick up that Warhammer thing? Yes, and I take it the nest itself was not selectable or lootable? Yeah. Oh, poor eagle. <laughs> they're lying there, they make a little, uh, they make little motions with their paws, it's so cute, or their talons. Oh, I feel so bad. Game, why you make me feel bad? Alright, let's, let's continue. Feel bad, but still feel amused. Alright, down we go. Alrighty, and... yes, yes, yes. Alright, one more. Shadow heart. Beautiful. Wait, no, that's not a shadow heart, that's a bunch of birds. Got a heart. Got a heart. All right. <laughs> I'll fine. I'll do it myself. Uh, down you go. You're still feather fall, right? Yeah, good, good, good. All right, let's loop back around to the room and see what this uh, warhammer does for us. I probably should have tried some other rusty weapons. And we're good. Alright, so the Warhammer presumably goes here as it's the last place. You're the ceremonial type. Now, as weapons, they don't actually have anything special on them, so... Yeah. Radiance Light. Ooh, hello. A pouch. That's it, a pouch. This better be good. Note to the next Dawn Master. Dawn Master's Crest. This unusually shaped crest bears the markings of the Lethandrian Lethandrian High Priest, but its practical function is unclear. Read. To the next Dawn Master, I don't think we're going to make it, but the blood is secure. We closed it off with magic. Only one of our own can take it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall and they won't get out of here alive. Should that happen, pray for Rosymorn Monastery, but do not mourn. It's for the best. In death, new life always. We closed it off with magic. Only one of our own can take it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall. Huh. Find the blood of Lathan. Okay, well, first of all, we'll take all this stuff. And... All right, it doesn't have a combine or a use, but it seems important. We'll keep that, and I guess we'll keep the note to the Dawn Master. Both of you 
are going into the pouch of important stuff. E right here. Or half half important stuff and half stuff I don't know what to do with. Uh, are we able to take these away now? Yes. Wait, scroll of revivify? Where? I, I saw scroll of revivify somewhere. Oh, I, I assume it's down here because it's Unless there was another section of the roof that I missed. Hello. Survival failed. There's another diggy hole here. That's yeah. <laughs> Though it isn't where the scroll of revivify was. And now another path up to the roof. Wait. A back way. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just... Hand crossbow. Trident. Morning Lord's Radiance. Oh, cool. These are like blessed weapons. What does this do? This kind of neat. Uh, your weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 radiant damage. Huh. This actually might be better than a regular hand crossbow. It might be worth keeping. And I... Oh, tridents are thrown weapons. Oh, interesting. Send this to Lazel. Uh, take all this for now. And you know what? I may keep you because of the bonus damage you do, even if you're not a... Gr uh, but I, you, you like the plus one enchantment. I'm not sure. All right, go up here. I just want to see if the uh, scroll of revivify is up. Uh... Oh! I don't remember. Huh. Oh, there was an up above over this room. Oh, interesting, man. I was lucky. Uh, up here on chest. Not much in the chest, but nonetheless. Oh, there's the scroll of revive. Oh, but I... Okay. Uh, wait. Just, just smash the gate apart. Hopefully it doesn't, uh, knock us down or something. Yeah, no, we're fine. Oh, come on. There you go. Man, I can't believe they uh, they went to all this effort to hide a single scroll of revivify. Anyway, I have five it, and yeah, the fact that this was here and I would have missed it if it wasn't for that survival check really makes me think that there's probably other secrets in this uh, in this monastery place that I missed, like little areas. I love it, absolutely love it. Fantastic uh, level design. And I guess you guys have said that uh, you, that there was a bunch of stuff that you guys missed as well. So yeah, that's that's always good. It it leaves a, a room for another playthrough. It's good when these things have a replay value, right? Anyway, let's take the ceremonial sword, ceremonial battle axe, rusty mace. Not ceremonial, but apparently it was once, and uh, it does still have that uh, morning lord's radiance on them. And I guess they all do. All right, so we will be keeping these, and I just want to keep them down here in case we uh, we need them again. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, wait. Ah. Monastery's notable keepers adorn these interests. Damn it. Wait, I just had an idea. What if this... And maybe this is completely... But I want to try. Uh, what if that thing is actually hiding, like, a staircase? Because it's completely round in the center of a room. You know what I mean? It seems like that's where they might place one. Uh, no, wait, this was... I think this was Warhammer. It was Warhammer. And then... This was... Mace. And then this was Battle Axe. Morning Lord's Radiance. Your weapon attack steal... Huh? Wait. Your weapon attack steal... What is that from? We all have it activated now. Huh, interesting. And right, we'll put it back up there. For now. Received condition Morning Lord's the Radiance until when? Alright, try this now. Monastery's notable keepers adorn these... The Alright, I'm just gonna spacebar through this to see if this does anything interesting. Hmm, alright, well... I don't know where this Blood of Lathander thing is, but, uh, well... Hmm... What if you have to keep these up here? Damn. I guess the waypoint is reasonably close if we want to come back here. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave these here for now, just in case this activates something in the monastery that uh, we need, and then we, and then I'll come back to it later. Hopefully it's not the case, but who knows. Uh, down we go, I guess. Oh, wait. Still ungrouped. Next floor, yeah? All right. And while it can go, away we go. All right, let's go down here. I see some blood, and we did see some enemies over there somewhere. 
How close are we to level 7? I want to respec a Starion when we get to level 7 uh, into a Swords Bard, but I do want him to get one level of uh, fighter so that he at least... Okay, now what? Uh, so that he at least has... Uh, has his archery fighting styles. It would be unfortunate to lose that. Alright, down we go here. And, ooh, yes, hello. Cobalt Scout. Alright, these guys don't have a lot of uh, HP, but what they do have is these fire wine barrels, which I presume are explosive. Astarian, come down here. Alright, you're coming down, and everybody else is down as well. Fantastic. Alrighty, now. Will these guys turn hostile as soon as we're in here, or will they talk? Nope, looks like they'll immediately turn hostile. Alright. Well then, uh, let's begin. Uh, the, ooh, Cobalt Inventor, you seem to be the one that we need to kill, because you have a lot more HP than the rest do, meaning, Astarian, come here. Moving. I'd like you to go here, I'd like you to reapply Hunter's Mark, and I'd like you to kill it. Oh, they're, wait, they're surprised? No, only that one was surprised, they're not all surprised. Interesting, well, that one's dead. And now you're invisible. Hmm... I guess the question is whether we use it to attack again. I feel like we do. Cobalt Looter, I want to attack the ones with more HP. Let's go for you. Nice, very nice. Hit for 30, pretty good. And your turn. All right, their turn now. And what do you have? Throw Stone. All right, we need to get everybody into formation or else we'll start taking damage. All right, not that time, but, you know, generally speaking. Uh, Lazel, come up here. Also gotta be careful about exploding barrels unnecessarily. High ground, attack the Cobalt Looter. One down, you look, uh, that looked painful. And, wait, what? Why did this one take damage from that? Interesting. Oh, because the pike counted as if it fell on top of them. Oh, well, that's really interesting. Huh, what's your dexterity? Can Shadowheart kill you? Fifteen. Doubtful, but the birds might be able to. Uh, let's check one at hmm, you. The others on the other ones will probably have to dash to us. So. Oh, but they could also throw their stones. But eh, whatever, we're fine. And your turn. No need to use any abilities. Uh, you can probably not kill it, but the dire raven is a different story. Use the power of being dire. Two d eight versus two d four. Yeah, now just use the curse. Alright, nice. Sand down you go, and then you can move on up. Uh, actually, wait, can you fly? Yeah, I fly up here. I don't want to get in the way of Shadowheart or anybody. And your turn. Then, little guy. Probably don't need to use you here, so I'd rather just keep you back in case we need a bonus attack and a tiny amount of damage. Uh, Wallach, I'd like you to march forward. Attack this guy. Knock to. I forgot that we had non lethals up. <laughs> Just like with Auntie Ethel. Uh, I always forget those. I know that this guy's down. Oh, you know what? We can have the little guy kill it. They attacked us. What should I do? Probably wouldn't be leaving them knocked Good. out, since that one was an accident, just like Auntie Ethel was, and I uh, I had Wallach bonk her to death afterwards. Alrighty, and Shadowheart, you could bless everybody, but it seems unnecessary here. Now let's go for a Sacred Flame. No way that's gonna hit. Uh, just use a regular range attack. Yeah. Oh, right, I forgot that your crossbow banes things. Could actually be useful if it ever lands a hit. And your turn, and then Wallach, you can use your range attack. Wait, how much movement? I have plenty. Go uh, go melee this guy. One down, millions left. Did you just say one down, millions left? Nice. I take it that's a uh, Dark Urge line. What? Wait, are they attacking each other? Damn. Well, the game, I guess, couldn't make this fight any easier. Uh, because the... Uh, Oh, they're drunk, so they're attacking each other. Okay, uh, this one's gonna move next, so I guess we gotta kill you. We, I'm not even gonna bother recasting Hunter's Mark. Seems unnecessary. A Starion. Uh, jump. Man, I forgot how far you can jump. It's crazy. And let's see, you can attack that guy. Yeah, go for it. No escape. Very nice. Right in the back of the skull. And you return, Lazel, you're up. And you can jump pretty darn far yourself. All right, let's get you here. Not like you're, ah, not like you're going to use your bonus action for anything else. And let's chuck your spear at this one, I guess. No Critical miss. Ouch. Oh, but huh, interesting. It still took uh, crouching or crouching. It still took a crushing damage. 
Tremendously interesting. Go after this one now. Alright, no critical miss this time. And beautiful. Alright, little guy. You can... We should be able to kill most, if not all, of these guys. You do a little bit of damage, but I fear that you cannot uh, get close enough, so... We'll have to wait until next turn, if they survive that long. And your turn, Big Bird. Uh, let's get you flying down here. And... Sort of engage these guys. Oh, I should have used the curse of the available next turn anyway. All right, uh, this one has less HP, so a higher chance of actually killing it. Very nice. All right, then go here. Try not to accidentally explode the barrel. A wallock. I would like you to go and bonk this guy, which apparently you can. Fantastic. Take you first. Yeah, only if they were attacking each other. There we go. All right, I guess this is all. These are all our little fights that are prelude to uh, what the main stuff around here is. All right, let's loot the looters. The irony is real, or the poetic justice, I guess. Uh, all righty, and keep on going. I'm surprised that there was stuff left to loot, but I guess. Hmm. Has Lazel said anything about alcohol? I'm curious to see how the Githyanki would uh, look upon getting drunk. Is it like a thing that they do, don't do in their culture? Because if they attack this monastery, but I noticed that all of the uh, all of the wine racks and everything are still here, which they've clearly left to the kobolds. So they clearly didn't care about that. Oh, I see something here. Kobold scout. What ca oh, right, the one we knocked out. Well, the, the one that's about to be dead in a second. <sighs> Bye. Let's call that just like... Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. What the heck? What? There was a looter inside the barrel. I was not expecting that. I was really not expecting that. <laughs> I gotta say, that's actually a nice touch. Well, now we have to destroy all the barrels. Oh, the slurp. The slurp is supposed to key you in. I thought it was... Wow. I... I had no idea, guys. No idea. Right, I'm gonna destroy all the barrels, then. And Firewine doesn't seem to explode of its own accord, so... I do find this very funny, though. Eh. Yeah. Uh... Great touch. Well done, devs. There we go. And there's another one there. Death won't take me yet. Hmm. I wonder if they were going to use any kind of abilities that would have... Huh? Are you not in combat? My bad. Uh, any kind of abilities that would have freed their mates from the... Uh, from their... Uh, prisons, as it were. Willing prisons, and I see no more barrels gulping, so I take it that was the last one. Yeah, all right, that was great. Wait, ah, ah, I lied. There is one more. Sunset can't come quickly enough. Sunset camp, yes, okay, I'm starting. We get it. You want to talk? We'll get to it later. Uh, kill this one as well. I didn't even check what that fire one belly thing on them would do. Oh, they don't have it anymore once they're dead. Okay, that should have been the last one. Man, all the kobolds... Oh, one of them has the ceremonial mace. Wait, what? But we use the rusty mace we got from the... Uh, from the grave. Huh. I assume that was... Okay, well... Uh, let's see. A collection of drawings, some cruder than others. Most of them feature kobolds in varying, varying degrees of nakedness, some performing sexual acts on themselves, and some on each other. The final pages, however, feature more varied subjects. A soaring red dragon, get the Yankee of various ages, and surprisingly detailed description depictions of wine bottles. Kobold journal, okay. Huh. Oh, man, so we... Okay... I see, so the I feel like the reason they allowed for the other ceremonial mace to work is if you didn't notice these guys, like me, in the barrels, and uh, would thus not be able to find the mace, so they gave you an out. Great job. If nothing else, just like Divinity 2, they've, uh, they've done really good work on giving you multiple solutions to, uh, uh, to the same puzzle. Anyway, let's see if there's anything else. Oh! There's also support beams that are cracked here, so presumably we could have collapsed them. Damn it. Just like the uh, ogre fight where I forgot to do that, I uh, I didn't get to use it. Oh, well. 
I mean, clearly we didn't need it this particular time around, but, you know. I'm surprised that the kobolds are still weak. They're as weak as the goblins in the goblin camp were, but this is... I mean, it's been a long, long time since we fought those guys. But once again, I feel like the game wasn't uh, intending to give the, for this to be a tough fight. More an amusement to distract. Uh, anyway, I believe we're good here. Let's walk down there and through the doors and keep exploring this floor. I mean, we're just starting on this floor. A big old monastery. All right, wooden trunk and... Yeah, door. All right, more copolds. Another wine room. Hey, it's a monastery, guys. If nothing else, it should be nothing but wine rooms. Uh, hmm, I feel like this might be a place that might have some secret stuff. I wonder if some of this wine is, like, super expensive and others just regular. Oh, we're on the other side of the entrance door now. Nice. And, ah, can we jump over? No, but I see a place we haven't been in before with a nice statue on the interior. All right, now that's through that door, and hmm, I see roots in an open area. There may be a way to jump from there to there. Damn, are we going to have to go back around the side? Maybe. All right, well, if we do, we do. Oh, well, I guess uh, we have an easy way to get there from this side. All right, let's keep looking around. I think this isn't the only part of this floor, even though it may be the only part of this floor that's accessible to us here. And once again, I'm trying to be thorough. That uh, that damn chest up in the sky over the place with the uh, uh, over the place with the the puzzle really got me. Now oh, I only accidentally noticed that. All right, well, let's try to go back up. There may be another way down. Well, in fact, we know that there's another way or two down. And uh, we go. If I didn't forget anything. And ha. Huh. I don't, okay, you know what? At the same time, I'm gonna put the ceremonial mace there, and I know that it's said action. that uh, the other mace works, but who knows? Maybe it does something different if we put the other mace there. All right. What path lies before me? All right, Lizelle's here. And these two don't seem to want to, but that's okay. All right, away. All right, let's try the ceremonial mace, and... Did the Warhammer disappear again? Okay, no. All right, take the mace. Take the, take the mace. And then put the ceremonial mace on. Morning Lord's Radiance. Still Morning Lord's Radiance. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep those there for now. I may return to them later. We went out here to get that other little room. This is before the door, so that's not where we want to go. I think we'll want to jump around this way and try to get around. Oh, maybe I should have... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I know what we do. I think there was another area... Yeah, we didn't jump down here. Yeah, 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 where the bust was. Rusty short sword. Take the rusty short sword as well. It's going to be a hassle to come back up here if needed, but what can you do? And let us fill it for liver. You know what? We've looted so much stuff. I'm going to have five of it. It's been a while. Uh, Lazel, let's go for Featherfall. Still breathing, despite and down we go. These boots have seen everything. What the heck? Keep them busy. And forgive me, we have to fire the lance. Oh, hi. It's like the... I guess it's the... Uh, what the monks were saying before they got attacked by the uh, Githyanki. I'm surprised their lance thing couldn't bring down a dragon, though. I kind of failed. Keep them busy! The thunder, forgive me. We have to fire the lance. A magic mouth spell. A warning from the past. And a failed one, to be sure. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, wait. The, they say they said don't grease the statues, right? Uh, okay, wait. Let's let's move everybody away, and I want to see what happens if we chuck a grease scroll at the statue. Pick up, and then uh, five our grease bottle. F five. Group everybody. Uh, Shadow heart. Come here. You have the grease bottles. A plenty. 
Uh, they are in this pouch, because it's the only pouch you have. And throw. Yeah, wait, go here. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Wallach will stand his ground. That's what he does. Split it. No. Row item. At. Yachu. Mm, okay, that doesn't seem to do anything. Damn, this was probably not the statue's... I mean, I guess it didn't say don't grease the bust. Slanashi giggle, but... Uh, mm, there's something else I'm missing. Ah, oh, it couldn't have been the key to that, uh, to the lance thing, could it? Inventory of offerings, and I need to pick you up, my bad. And what else do we have here? Shelf plate. Oh, this is a kitchen. Okay, there's probably nothing too useful in here, but let's keep looking around. Ah, yes, the barricade. All right, you, 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 and you, wooden barrel. And, okay, I got, okay, un un undock, ungroup everybody once again. Gotta get into the habit while looting, and are we on the other side? Another rusty maze. And another skeleton. Pick up the rusty maze. What is that noise? I heard a noise, like somebody was moving around. Hmm, sus. And door, where does this go? And, ah, the place in, that is on the other side of the doors, yes? Oh, we didn't even have to do the uh, the run around and then jump down to Featherfall. Fantastic. I love it. Well done, Wallach. The rest of you. Ah, we got XP. All right, so this is an important place. Uh, once again, ungroup everybody. Once again, I really got to remember to ungroup people during fights so that they all don't run together. All right, can't go over there, but we can loot everything not nailed down. Hmm. All the barrels down here are mostly empty. Alright, maybe the Githyanki have sunk their claws into these ones, though. Alright, skeleton and skeleton... Oh, I forgot to read the quest for that, uh, uh, Lathander thing. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Once we're done clearing the place. Properly robbing the place. Well, okay, let's not call it robbing, because Wallach would probably not appreciate it, but, uh... You know. If they're all dead, they don't need it. Let's go with that. Otherwise, hmm, this feels like it would be a fight area, but I don't see anything. I'm hmm, lots of skeletons there. Alrighty, let's uh, continue touching stuff. Ooh, hello. Iron Gate, and what do we have here? His Holy Blood, and we... Lever? Oh, I take it this opens the main gate? Yes, it does. And another Iron Gate. Alright, everybody come here. We're gonna need you all now. Mm, and by all of you, I mostly mean Astarian. Astarian, uh, let's Touch unlock me. more stuff. A crooked Although, honestly, I could have once again just had Wallach just bash it down. And it feels kind of wrong to, you know, get all these fancy, like, doors and uh, and grates and whatnot. And just, and just break everything apart, you know what I mean? Alright, and good, and no, oh, now we get a critical success. Alright, Wallach. Loot away. Read. Yeah, this is, his radiance has faded from our unworthy gazes, O ye lightless wretches. We have failed the morning lord, and I record that failing in the pages of this tome. Hmm. I pass the keeping of this record along to Paladin of his side, chosen in light to find the relic. Paladin, when you look upon the blood, I play Lathander honors your deeds by burning out our eyes. Your eyes. Wait, 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 is this important? Mm hmm, thinks, so. wait. It was a test, one that this chapel is duty-bound to undertake. What is a test? He bled for us. No, I don't think so. We let those gazes falter, and the blood was taken, wrenched from our sight. It is a test, one that this chapel is bound to undertake. I thought that the thing said that they still had the blood. All right. Take that either way. Scroll of Gust of Wind. You no, 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 don't cast it, my bad. Pick up. Best be on my way. Let's try the other one. His Holy Blood, Volume 2. Oh, was that a volume one? So presumably one is after the other. Potion of Mind Reading. And, oh, I didn't mean to not pick up the book. Oh, lots of books today. And His Holy Blood, yes. The missing charts on expedition to find a lost relic, relic called the... Oh, this, this is pre presumably from before. I will check the quest log in a moment. 
Let's continue looting. Holy blood of Lathander. Oh. Oh, no, it's a plague. Okay. <laughs> I thought we... blood of Lathander spilled in holy battle with Samaster, immortalized here for all to worship. So they kept the blood of Lathander here. No wonder it was looted. Ah, so it's like a... Is it like one of these? Like a periap with where like... I, what, are the, what are those called? Like a little reliquary, but with like blood in it? I know that there's a name for them. Uh, but whatever. Uh, what did I want to look? Find the blood of Lathander. Find a purpose for... Dawn Masters, that's what it's for. It's for the puzzle... Well, yeah, I, I should have figured that one out. Uh, we found an oddly shaped crest that belonged to a high priest of Lathander. Perhaps it can help us find the blood of Lathander. Alright, I don't see anywhere to put this crest thing. Mm hmm. Wait, cues? No, that's just a... Hmm. Inventory of takings. Bunch of rib cages. That's a Githyanki blade if ever I saw one. Another Githyanki longsword. Ah, huh, but this was from ages ago, presumably when the uh, monastery was taken. I wonder what kind of timescale we're working with. Uh, it is an inventory of items taken by the Githyanki from the Lathandarian monks upon their initial takeover of the monastery and the subject shipment of major valuables back to Tunara. Hmm. It does seem like the Githyanki just come in and just murder everybody. From what I understand, if this Lathander guy is like the bane of the undead, he's probably one of the good gods. If there is such a thing in a fantasy world. Hmm. So they're just killing presumably good aligned uh, monks? Man, they are certainly leaving all of these uh, markings, the stone discs. Many supplies found local area good for hunting. Okay, yeah, they just keep... They keep, what's it called? Analyzing the place. Ooh. Oh man, lots of diggy holes today. This is the third one, I want to say. Third or fourth? It's a diggy hole can of day. Alrighty. Wooden name. We got some stuff in there. Does anybody know what these purple fluoride shards are for? They have an action, but I can't figure out how to use them or do anything with them. It would be interesting if they had some kind of use, but if they do, I don't know what it is. Anyway, uh, more skeletons. Plenty. It looks like these skeletons were at least looted. It's mostly somehow burning candles and, uh, uh, and well, the bones, but the bones should be there. I keep forgetting to try dipping weapons into candles, and I know I know that's a thing. I just haven't had good opportunity to use it, or mostly I just forget. Anyway, I think that's it for this place. It's a staircase down, so I guess let's try heading downward. Still not sure how to use that Dawn Master's Crest, but it could be below us. And... Alright, let's see. Nothing here, nothing there. Ah, there's another pathway down. Oh, and a door. Monastery basement. Alright. Oh, entrance to Kresh Elek. Oh, we found it. Fantastic. Alrighty. Alright, to the monastery basement we go. Okay, so they're not immediately hostile, but that doesn't mean that they uh, uh, that they won't be. Find the Githyanki Crush. Find the Githyanki Cure. We've reached the Crush. Lazel says there should be some kind of device capable of removing the parasite. We just need to find it. Fantastic. Okay, well, I think this is probably the ideal spot to uh, uh, to call the episode here. Otherwise, it's going to get too long. It already uh, it's already running on. We can start on the Crush and next time around and uh, deal with whatever it is that we have to deal with here. I assume there's more quests and if they are not hostile like the Dwergar, we can look for a traitor. I'm almost tempted to... Hmm. Okay, wait, you know what? If there's a traitor nearby, let's find out. Sentries to arms! Istic, state your purpose quickly! I love stating my purpose. Stand down, Gish. Is it not Vlaketh's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors, faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? To trade. Uh... A divine bone chart. 105. Damn, that is expensive. Somebody said that uh, it might be a good idea to collect as many of these as we can, however, in order to be able to brew the elixirs of universal resistance. I may come back for you. No, you know what? Screw just buy it. 
All right. And all right, what was this? If I otherwise allow Lazelle to answer, do we trust Lazelle to answer? We didn't with the other ones. Uh, well, I guess we're here just for the uh, cure. You know what? I was infected by an elephant. I'm not going to try any of the intimidation or persuasion ones. If they attack us, they attack us. Uh, I was told to seek a Githyanki crush. You are infected. A gig thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with. Not thrall yet, the dude. The faithful may be purified. This is Vlacket's protocol. Chuk. Fine. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once. And step carefully. Crescia like watches you. That'd do, friendo, that'd do. Alright, let's uh, let's move on in and see if there's a traitor. And if there is a traitor, I'm interested to see if they got anything good. Alright, oh man, looks like we got three directions to head into and follow the mountain pass. Go to the Crescia Infirmary. Alright. Hush, Quanyrell. All right, I'm gonna have five it here real quick, just in case they get angry about us uh, about us wandering away. I don't see any trade. Oh, there is a ancient sigil circle here, though. All right, a closed door. Follow the mountain pass. Oh, I take it this leads to another side out. Wait. Oh man, it's it's kind of laggy in here. Ah, huh, interesting. I don't like that. Uh, do we just wander through doors? You know what? I don't want to open any doors right now. Let's try non-door areas, and just in case, I'm very wary of uh, making these guys go hostile. And ah, yes, and we have a trader here. You know what? I don't know if they would be willing to trade with a non-Githyanki, so let's have Lazel do it. Will be heard. Ugh, blood, rust, scar. Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? The filth of these people. Unbelievable. This plain squalor is indeed a constant source of discomfort. That's an impressive collection. Yes, trade. Impressive? Not the word I would use, but to each their own. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, gloves of dexterity. Set the wearer's a dexterity score to 18. The enchantment has no effect if their dexterity score is higher. Without it, attack plus one. What does attack plus one mean? Does it mean attack roll plus one, or does it mean an additional damage? I think this means an attack roll plus one. Still, very good gloves, 780, we're definitely buying them. Uh, oh, I thought this was an arrow. Knife of the Undermountain King. Organ Rearranger. Uh, okay, so it is a short sword. Uh, finesse weapon. Organ Rearranger, the weapon, the wielder scores a critical hit when rolling a 19. When they roll two damage or less, re-roll the dice, taking the highest result. Damn. And it's a plus two enchantment, which is great, though I think our flail, the uh, Wallach's flail, is the only thing that has that so far for us that we're using. Anyway, you have advantage on attack rolls against likely or heavily obscured targets when using this blade. Damn, this is quite nice as well. Ah, and it also has Morning Lord's Radiance on it. Uh, Doom Lobber, the wearer gains a plus one to spell attack rolls. Ranged spell attacks are made as melee spell attacks when you are adjacent to a hostile creature. Mm, could potentially be useful in some situations, but maybe not for us. So we should probably buy everything. When the wearer casts a spell of concentration, they gain free hit points and a little bit of athletics. And defender flail, another flail. Oh, an actual flail, not a uh, uh, not a non-flail like that we're using. The shattered flail is a maze. Steel physiology reduce incoming damage. Oh my! And armor class plus one. Oh, this is very nice. I mean, it doesn't have any other things, but if we put this on Shadowheart, for example, she could reduce her damage even further. Granted, we'd lose out on Mistress Blessing, but it might actually be worth it just to make her even more unlikely to take damage from anything. Definitely buying that. Larethian's Wrath. Uh, just a plus one. It's a longsword, though, so it's a 1d10 if we switch it to a two-hander. And not bad damage in terms of one-handed, either. Mm. What is this? Razor Gale, swing once per short rest, swing your weapon in a cyclone of steel that deals razor sharp damage. Yeah, we're buying everything here. <laughs> At least all the blue stuff. Unseen menace, invisible weapon. This weapon is invisible while equipped. It loses the property for two rounds on a missed attack roll. Does, a, does that do anything? Affected entity can't be disarmed. It has advantage on attack rolls. It scores a critical hit when throw when rolling a 19. Oh, just like the Undermountain King thing. Damn. 
All right, they've got some good stuff here. Okay, you know what? Now I'm definitely calling it here. Uh, between the episodes, I'm going to go ahead and buy everything and then probably give them money and then sell a bunch of the junk that we have, etc., etc., etc. So we'll come back after I've done that and, uh, well, uh, rearranged our items, not the organs like that uh, blade that was uh, purchasable there, and then we'll start properly on this place and uh, doing whatever needs to be done here after that. So stay tuned for a Gith Yankee crush. I... I'm 100% sure there's going to be at least some fighting here. These guys have been so hostile to everybody, it seems like. Uh, it seems pretty likely, but who knows? Maybe we can uh, maybe we can come to some kind of deal with them. Find out next time. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to leave a like and comment. All glory to the algorithm. And thanks for watching.